Sometimes you find something in a video game that makes you think, well, I've seen everything now. This is why they were diving into 10 of the craziest images never meant to be found in video games. Brought to you by Manscaped. Use promo code ODDHEADER in the link down below to save 20% today. Little Big Planet. Thanks to Odd Magic Floaty Mario Head for submitting this on the Odd Header Discord. Little Big Planet is a fairly light-hearted, kid-friendly puzzle platformer series with unexpected discoveries that I've covered before with more to come. As the series seems to hold an unusually large number of strange secrets worth exploring. However, one of the strangest discoveries ever found was on a 2008 PlayStation 3 development kit that was dumped online in 2019 where remnants of an early prototype build of Little Big Planet was found and recovered. In 2020, mysterious Cuban friends found on their Little Big Planet Discord server Dreamiverse that among the recovered files of the prototype could be found this sinister image. To date, nobody has any idea what the hell this dude was doing inside a development build of Little Big Planet, but it definitely seems a bit too graphic for anything that made it in the final game. Even if this was intended for something else entirely, what in the bloody hell is that supposed to be? I'm not sure I even want to know. Black Mesa Black Mesa is the commercial remake of the original Half-Life, originally released on Steam Early Access in 2015 with a full release in 2020. Many consider the game the superior version of Half-Life, with countless improvements and incredible attention to detail to the original game. However, one detail in Black Mesa that wasn't in the original game exists on the other side of that turret gun in the ceiling. As if you were to remove the gun from the ceiling, behind it on the danger decal would be, well, nothing. However, if you were to look in the alpha channel the danger decals texture, it would reveal in that spot. Ew. This hideous revulsion is actually Tar Man from the 80s cult classic zombie movie Return of the Living Dead. Oh, it's even worse in motion. Why he's hidden here in Black Mesa? Can't tell you on that one. Something even more horrific than this also lies in the game as on a random texture of a cardboard box can be found a hidden image of Mr. Six from the Six Flags commercial. Great. Guess this guy's gonna start showing back up in my nightmares again. Grounded. Thanks to the people down below for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Grounded is essentially the Honey I Shrunk the Kids survival game, where the player must survive the backyard as the size of an ant, that was released on Xbox One, Series X, and Windows for early access in 2020. Players found that they got out of the map of the game, they could find this shed which lacked collision at the bottom. In going through the shed, they would see this. I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but clearly it's wearing a chef's hat. A potato, maybe? And that's not the only odd thing that can be found out of bounds, as in a particularly hard to reach spot in this rock wall can be found a lab door that can't be accessed unless you manage to glitch around it. Inside is a giant monitor with buttons that don't appear to do anything, and a giant killer blueberry, which seems a bit out of place from everything else we know of the game so far. Though while this discovery may just be content we'll see utilized further in development, pretty sure this dude was never supposed to be here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Dan the Man joined my Discord server and talked about how he found an easter egg that's never been documented in Modern Warfare 3, where a cigar could be found out of bounds on one of the maps as well as an unusual image of a bear that could be seen at a certain angle. While most were skeptical of the discovery, Sarpazes on my server talked further with Dan the Man to try to determine where exactly the discovery would have been, determining it was likely in the map mission. After 20 minutes of fumbling around on the map with the spectator came, Sarpazes flew into this random building and found entry into an empty room that couldn't normally be accessed. Sarpazes noticed there was smoke accumulating on the other side of the room, and sure enough when he angled the camera just right, not only did a bear appear, but it also appears to be a ballerina. Obviously this raises a number of questions like what the hell this represents and why it was hidden so well given that it took so many years to find. Needless to say, this one definitely gives me pause. Apex Legends. Thanks to Sly for submitting me this mystery on my Discord server. Throughout the game, players have a 1 in 500 chance to collect an heirloom from a loot box, which when held will occasionally trigger a secret animation depending on the character. For instance, with the character Mirage, occasionally with the heirloom he'll hit someone with a pork chop. Data miners looking through the files where Mirage's secret animations were stored, however, managed to find this file among the other assets for the secret animations in the game. The image is pretty clearly thought to be Mirage among his family, but it's still unclear what the secret animation associated with the image would actually look like. To this day, the animation still remains unseen and unfound. 
believed by many to be an ultra rare animation that still hasn't been triggered in the game. I can only imagine the animation will manage to be a little more sentimental than this. Blood Rain. Terminal Cut. Thanks to Quest for submitting this through oddheader.com. Blood Rain is definitely a game that isn't coy with the suggestive, as red-headed vampire Rain was even the first video game character to ever appear in Playboy in 2004. However, thanks to Quest crawling through the files of the recent re-release Blood Rain Terminal Cut, for some reason there appears to have been added images to the files that are spicier than anything else that appears in the game. Well, obviously I'm not going to be able to show you this whole image. Instead, here's a kid-friendly recreation of the image. Uh, yeah, this is actually a lot more awkward than I thought it'd be. The Last of Us You may have recently seen a highly covered easter egg supposedly found after 7 years in The Last of Us, where at the beginning of the game as Sarah if you were to stand on the last step of the staircase, quit to the main menu, reload the game, and then went back to the bedroom, you would see an ant projected on the television instead of the normal static. The ant is actually an upside down still from the BBC documentary about an ant eating fungus that inspired the infected in the game. Now this was covered everywhere from IGN to the game, and not only is it not new, Captain Excellent covered it over 6 months ago, but also the developer who programmed the sequence Kurt Marganel retweeted the IGN tweet and said as the one who scripted this sequence, sounds like a bug to be honest. Well it certainly looks like a bug. Kurt Marganel went on, I could be misremembering 7 years ago, but I think the flip book of the ant was like a default shader test thing, and it appearing is probably me not initializing something correctly. Or it was intentional and I don't remember. I'm old now. Well I guess there's a small chance that IGN in the game didn't get it completely wrong and it could still be an easter egg, but if you want to see a list of confirmed recently discovered easter eggs that weren't found for years, I'll just leave this video right here. Law and Order 2 Double or Nothing. 2003's Law & Order Double or Nothing is one of many games based on the hugely successful TV show, which is why there didn't seem to be anything unusual about this scene. Fast forward 4 years later and suddenly the game is met with a storm of controversy and even getting pulled from store shelves. As it turned out, this image in the background was an actual photo of the child abduction of James Bulger in 1993, whose mother was outraged to find out was actually used in the game. Legacy Interactive, who both developed and published the game, quickly apologized and patched the image out of the game, but not before every distributor decided not to carry the title. Legacy Interactive stated this is the first time we knew anything about it, otherwise we would have never put it out. Either way, considering it took 4 years to find, I'm sure the developers never thought anyone would notice they used an image of such a heinous crime. Yikes. Valhalla. Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Thanks to Luke for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. 2016's Valhalla is a 2D cyberpunk game where the game's plot changes based on the types of drinks you make the clientele at the eponymous Valhalla bar, said to be a cross between a visual novel and a bartending simulator. However, inside the files of the game is a folder titled Answer, and inside is a file titled Her, which is a strange 3D image that doesn't look anything like the game, of a woman on an empty street with a mysterious figure in the distance. Nowhere does this appear anywhere in the final game, and nor does anybody know who her is supposed to be. The developer was tweeted about it on Twitter with someone assuming it was meant for a teaser, but the developer replied, People keep finding these images in the game's folder and we have no idea why. Might be spywares. Right. For some reason, I'm not buying that. Stalker. Shadow of Chernobyl Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl is a first-person shooter survival horror series set after a fictional second nuclear explosion at the site of the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. Despite coming out in 2007, Stalker was originally announced as far back as 2000, with multitudes of unfinished builds of the game being leaked online before the game released, with some that the developers even released themselves. One unfinished build of Stalker Shadow Chernobyl that leaked online to note is build 749, the earliest known prototype of the game to exist. It's pretty certain that build 749 is a version the developer probably didn't want anyone to play, as for some reason the loading screens were a rather full-on image of a woman, well, once again I'm gonna have to go back to my YouTube-friendly demonstration. Basically, she's like this. What am I doing with my life? 
And if you want to attract a woman like Barbie, you might want to be like Ken and check out Manscaped. Thanks again to Manscaped for being an awesome supporter of the channel again. Manscaped's hooked me up with a bunch of tools from their performance package kit and it's all been awesome. The Lawnmower 3.0 remains their flagship product by being waterproof and safe in the shower. I personally have never gotten a nick or cut using this thing, which is likely thanks to the advanced skin safe technology made to do exactly that. And if you want to be even more devoid of hair like Ken here, there's now the Weed Whacker Nose and Hair Trimmer, which has the same amazing quality of the Lawnmower 3.0. And they even sent the awesome Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Kit, which like the rest of Manscaped's products is of an extremely impressive quality. I can't recommend these products enough. And for a limited time, they're throwing in the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off and free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use promo code oddheader at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with promo code oddheader at manscaped.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you know of any other crazy hidden images in video games that we weren't supposed to find, submit through oddheader.com, come join the Discord, or even send me a shout through Twitter or Reddit. Shout out to Anna Morris, Athanasius Decinos, Arizona T, Bitwith27, Cody Brody Whitlow, Combat15 Bold, Dead Plastic, Decider12, Deer Mid Crowley, Eddie Toxpin, Endergrub72, Flex, Jonathan A. All Ornalis, Christy Gardner, Ponage Cakes, Rage Spot, Rice Sparrow, Reed De La Rosa, Riley S, Select, Sneaking J, Sasuke Akira, Scarities, Tiggy, Towerizer, Tylorco7, Wade Murdoch, Jan Benier, and Yu Kirby for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.